What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing everyone, or you guys, how to make vocal chops. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I mean, you could do a bunch of funky shit with it if you want to. I like to start simple and then work my way to effects. Alright, so the first thing I do is uh, I took samples from the Cashmere Vocal Ethnic Pack. I took a bunch of some of these. I took like three of them. Um, so I'm going to show you what they all sound like at their original state. This one... Well, I just took the first part and I put it here. And then I took a little part of the other part later on in the sample. So I'll, throw, I'll do the effects later. But And then I took another back and then, uh, which originally sounded like this. It was originally uh, slower. Which I did, uh, what was it? And you can hear I pitched it down uh, to half size, um, and then I stretched it to meet the BPM. So it was like over here before it was a little slow, and then I moved it to fit 128. I see it's only it's for 111 BPM, so it was like all the way out here for two bars, but it wasn't 111. And then I just stretched it to two bars for this. So you know it sounds good with the rhythm. Before it was like. So it, it didn't sound right. So I did that. Um, always be sure to stretch your vocal chops if you're using like a whole whole bit. I ended up not using the whole bit. You know, I like to take different parts from different things that I like and then put them together and kind of make my own thing. But make sure you're stretching your shit out. So now everything sounds like this. Yeah, I just took another one. Took another vocal sample. Uh, So yeah, I just took a, a little bit from that. That part. Um, and yeah, so everything. Nothing too complicated. It's all like shit right now, but when I put the effects and everything on it, it sounds good. So first, EQ, you gotta know, take out the lows. Then I'd use this plugin called Little Alter Boy. I definitely recommend it if you want to work with the vocal chops. Uh, I, I, it was on sale for like $30. It's normally $100. I just bought it like last week and it's fucking amazing. I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, the format and the pitch knob, it's super easy to format and pitch automate. Um, so yeah, now I have the format. Um, with a format uh, automation clip over here and it's just gonna change the format so like I put it on really low and it's usually yeah like minus 12 so it's gonna stay it's not gonna stay like that but it's you know it's usually in the low part until here where I switch octaves and I make the pitch go up too so this is another pitch automation with the same plugin so with those two now it's gonna sound like this <laughs> So yeah, uh, I added compression OTT. I, f I love OTT. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's free. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good compression plugin. I put more EQ, trying to pick out some frequencies that I like and I didn't like, boost and reduce them. Pretty simple. Uh, you could just nitpick your uh, frequencies, just swift through the thing, you know, just kind of sweep through your EQ. It doesn't matter what EQ you're using and just find the frequencies you don't like reduce them a little bit see I didn't like it over here on 233 Hertz so I reduced it I didn't like it around 2700 Hertz so I reduce it there and then I boosted the highs a little bit um put some delay on there so if you don't know what delay is the best way I could explain what delay is is when you say like echo into a tunnel right and you know like that atmosphere sound that you hear that's reverb and you don't want to get that mixed up with delay and delay is when you hear that sound again so like i say for example i say echo into a tunnel and then like i hear a bunch of softer things i say echo 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 shit like that <laughs> that's pretty much delay so you can hear it and then reverb on there and then i made an automation clip for the reverb <laughs> So 
So yeah, and then I added some flangus right here. Uh, I I put it on very subtly though, so I didn't I turned the wet down a lot and I can I reduced the dry a little bit because I didn't want too much volume there. But the wet is on pretty low, so you can't hear it that much. <laughs> So you can, it's it's very minor, but you can hear a little bit. And then gross beat for side chaining. Uh, I, I have this preset that I use. I made it very weird, kind of, because most side chain presets are like that or you know a curved line. But this one is kind of like this two really main points, and when the kick hits, which is really what side chain is supposed to be for. So you know it's reduced over here in volume a lot and then it just shoots up rather than being more, a little bit more gradual um, and that's it for effects so that's pretty much it and then add a ticking effect from the cash rear sample pack I really love this sample pack I use it for a lot of stuff and then some chords um, I'm not gonna go into the chords because this is a vocal chop tutorial but I did some stuff with the cutoff and filtering and all that. That's pretty much it. I filtered the chords out over here in this part so you can kind of hear the vocal more, but it's not over here. Uh, it's more open. That's pretty much it. Hope I didn't waste however many minutes long this video was of your time. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, support the channel, support my music. I'll leave my links in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.